My name is Amanda. I am a graduate student here at Stanford. I'm getting a PhD in bioengineering in the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery. My thesis project was to uh, develop a biomaterial that could be used as a delivery device to deliver therapeutic proteins to the heart following a heart attack. I picked Stanford mainly because the bioengineering department allows you to go outside the actual home program of the BioE department and you can pretty much do your PhD research wherever just as long as it's within the realms of bioengineering. Dr. Wu is the chair of cardiothoracic surgery at Stanford. He always says lab meeting is his favorite meeting of the week because he's really excited by research. You were starting from scratch. You came in fresh out of undergrad and said, I want to do a PhD in something that ultimately someday will have impact so when Amanda first came to me, expressing her interest in conducting translationally relevant cardiovascular research, we developed a uh, multi-year plan. This is a nice demonstration of how you can take a fundamental concept, test it out in the laboratory, move it into a small animal model, and then eventually into a large animal model in preparation for ultimate human clinical therapy. And so I rotated through his lab and on the first day I got to scrub into sheep surgery and so ever since that day I knew I wanted to be in this lab. Jennifer Cochran is the chair of the bioengineering department. When I started at Stanford, I knew that I wanted some of her research to be a, a part of this laboratory as well. I found her research really exciting and really interesting. Part of the first project I worked on and a couple thereafter involved combining research from her lab and research from Dr. Wu's lab. Dr. Wu and I are collaborating on a project to take some of our engineered growth factors and test their ability to regenerate heart tissue following a myocardial infarction, which is also known as a heart attack. Students like Amanda are really critical to the interdisciplinary fabric of our ecosystem. Dr. Wu and I can talk about an exciting idea for a collaboration, but we really need to have someone who's going to serve as the glue between our research groups and take those ideas and bring them to fruition. Amanda's mastered this beautifully, and in fact, she highlights the strength of Stanford in bringing together engineers and clinicians to solve really challenging problems. I developed the material in Dr. Wu's lab and we combined the material with one of the protein engineered growth factors from Jennifer Cochran's lab. And so basically we took that growth factor from her lab and uh, put it inside the biomaterial. Currently there aren't any treatment options to prevent the onset of heart failure. What this research capitalizes on is the fact that we can now deliver this in a minimally invasive manner, so this makes it a more realistic treatment option. In my experience at Stanford, everyone's very collaborative, everyone's looking to work together because I think they understand the benefit of having an interdisciplinary group of scientists or engineers or, or doctors or physicians. It ultimately improves your research. If I had advice for an incoming graduate student, it's to not limit yourself to the lab that you think you should be in. You have so much freedom here to research what interests you, and so many people are willing to collaborate and work together that you're, like the possibilities of the research you can do here are endless.